Hola, como estas? I don't speak no Espanol past this point. Thank you. So, my hair is kind of a mess. So, I put this distracting wrap on. Yes. Okay. So, my monologue is called, It's Terrible Being Nice. Um, it's not memorized, so I am going to be looking off camera for this first attempt. I'm not first, but first attempt. Um, it's comedic, comedic, I don't care. It's a comedic female monologue from the play Goodbye Charles by Gabriel Dason, Davis. Gabriel Davis, you see, I'm probably gonna do this like three times. <laughs> Alright, so the background is Cynthia addresses the man on the the man on his knee with a little box in his hand. Don't do that. Don't open that little box. One more crack. Please don't ask me to marry you. Shh. 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 Don't say another word. Just listen. Okay? I can't let you do this to me. I mean I, before I met you, I used to be such a bitch, okay? I mean, seriously. Everyone at work thought I was a huge bitch. No one asked, no one actually liked me. Those people I introduced you to as my friends, well, they're not my friends. They're all afraid of me, or they were, before I met you. <laughs> Before I met you, I never said please or thank you at restaurants. I never smiled or laughed at anybody's jokes except for mine. I never used to tip more than 10%. I was quick with the insults. I was actually, I was, I always had a cruel, a cruel word. I was cold, cross, crass falsely compassionate, whatever you want to call it. That was me. But since being with you, I've begun or begun to feel all warm and fuzzy. I find myself wanting to stroll in the park and whistle. I have these thoughts, these urges to donate to charities and help out in soup kitchens and hug people. Since I've been with you, I've given nearly $10 to a homeless man. Help three! Not one, not two, but three! Old ladies cross the street. And I bought one of my so-called, I bought one of my so-called friends a present at full price. Full price. And I knew it was something that she would like. That's just, don't you see? Don't you see, you have made me nice. And what really scares me is that you'll open that box and you'll ask me to marry you and I'll just nicely say yes and I'll be nice for life. I'll be singing Kumbaya or Kumbaya. <laughs> I'll be singing Kumbaya for the rest of my days. I'll give back to the community, to the Salvation Army, to make a wish foundation, and I'll do it anonymously. And then one day, years from now, I'll wake up and I'll have this horrible realization that I lived a good life, that I contributed. Please, 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 for the love of God, put that box away. I mean, the planet already has millions of nice people. It doesn't need me to, okay? I'm a bitch. And I want to stay that way. So please, stop. Don't. I'm asking you. No, 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 no. Actually, I am begging. I am begging. I'm getting down on my knees, okay? Will you please, please not marry me? 
that was attempt number one, okay? I just had to get all the jitters out. Let's see if I can do it a little better. <laughs> okay. I kind of don't want this facing the light because then it kind of takes away from my face. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for not looking at the camera. I don't have this memorized. <laughs> but I'm trying to make eye contact. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Don't do it. Don't open that little box. Not one more crack. Don't ask me to marry you. Shh, shh, no. Don't say another word. Just listen, okay? I can't let you do this to me. I mean, before I met you, I used to be a bitch, okay? I mean, seriously. Everyone I worked with thought I was a huge bitch. No one actually liked me. Those people I introduced you to as my friends, they were not my friends. They were all scared of me. Or they were before I met you, okay? Before I met you, I never said please or thank you at restaurants. I never smiled or asked anyone or laughed at anyone's jokes, except for mine. I never used to tip more than 10%. I was quick with insults. I always had a cruel word. I was cold, crass, cross, falsely compassionate. You get where I'm going with this. Just... But since I met you, I've begun to feel all warm and fuzzy. And I find myself wanting to stroll in the park and whistle. I have these thoughts, these urges to donate to charities and help out in soup kitchens and hug people. <sighs> Since being with you, I've given nearly $10 to homeless men. I've helped three old ladies, okay, cross the street. I've bought one of those so-called friends a present at full price. Ooh, and I knew it was something that she was going to like, so. Don't you see? Don't you see you've made me nice? And it really scares me. What really scares me is that you'll open that little box and ask me to marry you and I'll just say nicely yes and I'll be nice for life I'll be singing kumbaya for the rest of my days I'll give back to the community to the Salvation Army even to make a wish foundation and I'll do it anonymously and then one day years from now I'll wake up and I'll have this horrible realization that I lived a good life, that I contributed. Please, for the love of God, put that box away. I mean, the planet already has millions of nice people. It doesn't need me too. I'm a bitch, okay? I just, I am, I'm a bitch. I'm that bitch, okay? And I want to stay this way, so please stop, don't, I'm asking you, actually, no, no, I am begging, I am begging you, yes, you, I am begging, I'll even get on my knees, I, will you please not marry me, see, okay. I don't think I'm gonna get any better unless I stand up <laughs> and I don't really want to stand up and try to maneuver not right now because honestly I think I'd do a lot better if I had it memorized and I'll do that when I'm standing have a good night or day or evening or whatever you're doing afternoon you know hey hello how are you bye